all this motherfucker's ideas sound like high people ideas. Like he doesn't think these things through before he tells us. He just tells us what he's thinking as soon as it occurs to him. This shit sounds nuts. Uh, oh, I'm gonna go to China and I'm gonna get those jobs from China and bring them back here to America. For what, nigga? So iPhones can be $9,000? Leave that job in China where it belongs. None of us want to work that hard. I want to wear Nikes. I don't want to make them shits. What the fuck are you doing? I am going to bring back coal. Coal? I have never in my life even seen a fucking lump of coal. I honestly don't even know what coal is for. If you're going to have motherfuckers digging around in the dirt looking for shit, Find me some truffles, nigga. That's what I'm about. And these truffle prices are getting out of control. If it gets any worse, I'm gonna be back down to regular butter like everybody else. This motherfucker hit North Korea with rap battle threats. Fire and fury, like, yo! Yo, what are you doing? It's fucking Korea, man. Kim Jong-un is a scary motherfucker. He's, he might be as crazy as Trump. And if you're one of them naive motherfuckers that thinks that a war with Korea is going to be easy, then you don't play Call of Duty at 3 a.m. like I do. Because that's when the Koreans play. <laughs> Fucking eight-year-old Korean kid took out my whole goddamn platoon last night. <laughs> I've never seen somebody in an office so high with the most just basic fucking solutions. Like, you know. We should not let any more Muslims in the country till we can figure out what's going on. Did he just say, figure out what's going on? <laughs> Who doesn't know how to do basic math? Let's count it out, okay? There's been 17 mass shootings in the United States. Four of them were done by Muslims. None of those four Muslims were from any of the seven countries in your stupid-ass original band. The other 13 shootings were done by the Tiki Torch Whites. These are facts. You don't see me trying to ban white people from the show to keep the rest of the audience safe. It's a fucking terrible idea because it's mean and it's racist. And most importantly, it would be catastrophic to my bottom line. If there were no white people here tonight, I might leave this bitch with $1,800. This man needs to realize that we all need each other. And that's why we will never, ever be able to beat China. Because everybody in America is racist, and everybody in China is Chinese.